Kevin on. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure. I haven't heard anything about that. What have you heard? Um, well, um, I know that. Yeah, so what is Schumer doing to bring all the Democrats to say with a loud and firm voice, we do not want a sexual predator appointed to the highest court of the land? It's absurd that we should be going around today to talking to Democrats. We have a credible witness. There are two other complainants of sexual assault, and we still are going around to Democrats having to beg that women should be believed, that survivors should be believed, that survivor testimony is evidence. And here we are in the leader of the Democratic Party's office, Chuck Schumer, saying he should be doing this. This is his job. I'm not the leader of the Democratic Party. And we were just downstairs and heard that he was still not, he was very non-committal still and not really taking this very seriously. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure he's made a exact public statement. A problem. No. That's the problem. That's a problem. So we would like to know <laughs> what is, and I'm a New Yorker myself, what is my senator and the leader of the Democratic Party doing to with votes, to be sure that we only have to be focusing on those three Republicans, that we only need two Republicans. Why are we worried about losing Democratic votes on this? I, you know, I can't really speak for him, but I can certainly carry your concerns along to him if you like. Thank you. Mm -hmm. He's failing. That's like, it's so wrong on so many levels. I mean, he should be taking the survivors that are walking the halls around to the Democratic members that are wavering. I mean, it's unconscionable that he's not doing that. Like, this is his baby, and he's failing. Vote no on Kavanaugh. Believe women, believe survivors.